Welcome back. Navigating through life can be difficult for us all. Our next guest has had his share of painful experiences from the loss of his daughter to the loss of his own mobility. But through it all, he remains resilient. And his latest book takes a look at the role love of family and friends has played in his life. Joining us now via Skype, the president of the David Horowitz Freedom Center, our good friend David Horowitz. And he's also the author of the new book, You're Going to Be Dead One Day, A Love Story. David, it's so good to see you. Welcome to Newsmax Prime. And that's an interesting title. Obviously, you've written a lot of books about politics, but this is personal. What prompted you to write about it and kind of leave the politics behind for the time being? Well, <clears throat> thank you for having me, J.D. Actually, uh, of course, there are politics in the book, as there would have to be in any, any book about me and my thoughts. But the focus, uh, you know, is age and mortality and faith. This is the fourth uh, volume of uh, kind of philosophical memoirs I've written in the last 10 years, all of which really have a, a central theme of mortality and faith. Um, I happened to be, uh, w what inspired the book was that I, I had a hip replacement, which went bad and paralyzed my foot. So I found myself in a situation I didn't think I would be in, really immobilized and, you know, fighting neuropathic pain and so forth. Um, and it's about, uh, it, it's about five or six months in my life during this and, and, and my semi-recovery. Um, I'm, I'm still still working on it. But I happen to be married to a, uh, a woman who's very spiritual. I'm, people know that I'm a, an agnostic, um, not, not a, a hostile one, um, but an appreciative one. I appreciate the power that faith has um, to console us for the defeats that, that uh, characterize both our personal li lives, but life itself. Life itself is a defeat um, unless you have a strong belief in an afterlife and a divinity uh, who will um, sort everything out uh, when, this, when this, this life is done. You mentioned, David, you mentioned April, your wife, and her spirituality, but for the record, she was also involved in a horrible, near-fatal auto accident. So you went through your botch surgery, you saw what your wife went through, uh, with the three minutes left, can you describe how these two events have changed your life? Well, I changed my life actually um, through through her. Um, she never liked me to be writing these books about mortality. She's some uh, somewhat younger than I am, and and therefore she found it very frightening the idea of uh, of a life um, where I was uh, not present. In that we, we spent a lot of time uh, together, um, more than usual, since I'm a writer and work at home. Um, and her car accident affected the way she looked at these things. And uh, the title of the book comes from a little confrontation we had um, in, in which she wanted to spend um, significant money on fixing, you know, making our environment beautiful, making our home beautiful and the the grounds we live on. Uh, um, and uh, I was trying to preserve that money be because I knew, you know, someday I'm going to be gone and she'll need it. Uh, and she, when I tried to restrain her, she said to me, you're going to be dead one day. I'm going to be dead. Let's enjoy this while we're here. And Amen. so, yeah, well, it's, it's a kind of a life lesson. I think you have to sort of read this. this there are several stories in this book. It is. I enjoyed, just started it, and it is just filled with observations and anecdotes and philosophy. Uh, in the minute 30 remaining, with all you've gone through and what you've written about in this book, what is the most important life lesson that you want to impart to readers? You've got to... It's, it's very hard because because we're suppressing it all the time. Everything that everything that's with you, everything you enjoy, and everything that you love, is going to disappear one day. You don't know what day that is, and therefore you have to be there now for it and appreciate it. 
And I, I think somebody said that what makes people conservatives is gratitude. Um, and I, I, I haven't written that in this book, but that you get that message through the book, that being grateful for what we have instead of, well, actually, it's in the book. Embrace the good and bury the bad, it's called. Amen. But being That's grateful great. for what you have is so much more important than dwelling on what you don't. And while you are not exactly a hostile agnostic, you will forgive me if I go to the Christian tradition and point out what James writes in his book in the New Testament when he asks, what is your life? It is but a vapor. But while we're here, we certainly enjoy it. David Horowitz, we're always happy to see you. The name of David's book again is, You're Going to Be Dead One Day, A Love Story. There's more ahead from Newsmax Prime right after this.